What up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. 87SS boy, checking back in with y'all, man. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm still kicking. You know what I'm saying? The mistress still kicking. She got my back. She got my back. She behind me. Y'all see that pretty thing back there. But uh, I just wanted to get with y'all, man, let y'all know a couple things I got going on. Um, you know what I'm saying? Drop a video. I hadn't dropped one in a while. But uh, just want to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I'm still kicking, man. You know, I definitely ain't giving up on this on this G-Body thing. Uh, we got a lot going on, a lot to come. Um, you know, we working. We steady working. No matter what, we steady working, man. Whether we on the camera or not, we working. I know y'all working too. Keep it up, man. Hey, don't give up on these projects, dog. They will make you want to sell them motherfuckers, set them on fire, beat the fuck out of them. They make you want to do all that shit. But when it's all said and done, man, like, it's worth it. It is worth it, man. Me and, me and the missions done been through a lot. We done been through a whole lot together, man. And we still gonna go through a whole lot more, I already know. But she pissed me the fuck off every goddamn day. But you know, hey, that's it's a part of the game, man. If you can't if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen, you know what they say. Yeah, I've been, I've been having a lot of people hit me up about, you know, they got they just bought cars or whatever and they trying to do upgrades or whatever. You know, the stuff you see on Instagram, YouTube, whatever. All this stuff these, these these boys with these bags got, you know what I'm saying? They putting them in there. And they figure because everybody doing that shit, it must be, um, you know, it must not be too expensive or it must be affordable. But that ain't the case, man. Like, once I told some of these cats, like, what, you know, the effort you got to put in, the money you got to put in, the time you got to put in, them motherfuckers back the way. Like, they don't want no parts of this shit. Like, this shit is not a game, man, if you're trying to, if you're trying to get in here. Like, it ain't no game, man. Like, it's, like, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I get pissed off all the time, but it's a hobby for me. I enjoy this. But when I get pissed off, I have to just stop what I'm doing, go in the house, have me a drink, sit on the couch, do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't keep working when I'm frustrated, because that's how I break shit, you know what I'm saying, tear shit up. I just do shit out of frustration, so... Like, you just gotta take time, man. You gotta baby these things, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take time with them. I mean, I know y'all tired of seeing my face and listening to everything I gotta say. We gonna get on into this video, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep rocking with your boy, man. We at 1,300 subscribers right now and climbing. You know what I'm saying? Tell a friend to tell a friend. We doing G-Body shit over here. But like I said, Without me doing all this talking and all this bullshit, we're gonna get into the video, which y'all here for, man. If y'all ain't skipped over all this shit anyway. I know if you like me, when you hear a motherfucker talking a lot, you just be skipping. Double tap that motherfucker. Skip, skip, skip. But anyway, let's get into it.
back, y'all. And I know y'all know details matter. Look at that. So that's the front nose uh, emblem. It's all faded out. Been on there since 87, right? So we got a new one here. New emblem is gonna replace that one. Uh, this one here is the 3M backing. This one I already took it off from a, from the back side, so I won't be showing that. But this actually has the little things in it, and then it has um, like the little bolts, hold down bolts on it. But I took it off already while I had my radiator and my condenser out. Um, so, but that's how it come out. You got to get all the way behind there, man. Ain't no way to get this emblem out without uh, taking the radiator out and the condenser. So. It's a job. If you already got the radiator and condenser out, might as well just go ahead and do that thing. But uh, we just gonna install this. You know, it's a good look at the before. And then this will be the after. But like I said, it's gonna have uh, it's gonna have the tape, the the tape in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tape off. Actually. Let me clean this first. Always, any, anytime you got tape, paint, or whatever, you always gotta make sure you get all that oil and everything off of it. Definitely gotta keep it clean. That's the only way it's gonna stick and last. Uh, also, these are the same emblems for the uh, for your tail lights. So on your tail lights, let's see, I think I got one in the car somewhere. Yeah. So on your tail lights here. These are the same exact emblems, same size and everything. Uh, this side here, I had taken it off because I was about to start trying to restore these, but same emblem. So if you need that, that's what it is. This is actually the emblem off of the uh, off of that passenger side tail light. Same exact thing, man. It's one old and one new. It's all about the small little details, y'all. All right, so I got me a halfway decent clean rag here and some some cleaner. I'm clean that off. Let it dry for us. Air dry for a second. Usually any kind of cleaner dries real quick. So, uh, like I said, the three I'm backing. I'm gonna get this off of there. That's what it looked like. Then we're gonna center this thing on here. Let's see if I can get y'all to look closer. That's exactly where it goes. Like I said, small details, man. It's all in the details. Look at that. Making the rest of that red pop now. The rest of that red is definitely popping now. And I got these, uh, I got this emblem from, um, where did I get it from? I think I got it from Dixie Restoration Depot. Of course, y'all know you can get it from gbodyparts.com. You can get them from eBay or whatever. Um, I decided not to go back with the original style one uh, for the simple fact that it was gonna take me a couple weeks to get it. And also I would still have to have my radiator and my condenser out. So I just chose to go with the 3M back and, and uh, do it this way save me some some time and frustration so this is the before and after the og and then the replacement i think that came out pretty good y'all you know what i'm saying this this right here is og 
but this shit gone. This shit is gone. So yeah, that's what we got. details but it's mean it's so big like big details <laughs> that make a big difference man. but anyway uh i know i've been going for a minute man i wanted to show y'all some things i got going on i still been working i know some of y'all know what this is the og t-top bags fisher body gm these things all mildewed and everything. I gotta clean them up and everything. Um, I been had these, they came with the car. Uh, this one here is a little, it's, you can't even see the, the writing on it, but you can see it here pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna spray these down and clean them up. Uh, I also got, got an extra set of T-tops. Came with the car. I don't, know for sure if these came off of Monte Carlo. I know they didn't come off an SS because this chrome right here. If you know your cars, you know SS didn't have no chrome on it like that. Um, these here have like a mirror a mirror tint to them. But anyway, I got an extra set of T-tops. They in decent condition. You know, I mean, this is a given that's it's old though. Uh, like I said, I think these, these either came off of another Monte Carlo or maybe a Cutlass, I'm not sure. But they in great condition. See that mirror finish on there? So, got two good T-tops. Uh, I thought about selling them, but I'm like, man, why? You never know if you're going to need it. I think these things going for like seven, eight hundred dollars. But they look good though. It's a nice set here. I'll probably clean them up, clean them up real good and uh and paint this just to have them looking good. Just because I'll be bored and I like cleaning stuff and making stuff look good. But yeah, these bags definitely need to be cleaned up. But they OG, like OG stuff, man. Uh, another thing, y'all probably seen these on my uh, on my my little picture community or whatever my community page. Got the Flowtech headers, ceramic coated. Like, hey, shout out the SS game. You gotta uh, gotta give credit where it's due. SS game put me on these. Shout out to them. I appreciate you, my boy. Um, right now, I still got the old headers in here. So, man, look how bad they look, y'all. It's all right, though. These gonna be going in there. Once them go in there, it's gonna make that engine bay pop. It's gonna make that engine bay look a whole lot better. But for now, we rocking with the, with the old rusty motherfuckers. But when them get in there, it's gonna be on and popping. Like I said, shout out to SS Game. We got some more goodies here. Goodies and oldies. This is my old accumulator. I went on ahead and grabbed me a new one. Uh, Cause I'm, I just want everything new so I, I know I won't have any problems. Um, shout out shout out to Kenny LS1. Man, for the uh, accumulator, he hooked me up came off of uh, the, I'll put the part number and stuff uh, in the description. I don't want to show none of my personal info on there and there. But anyway, uh, this is actually a cutlass accumulator dryer. Um, but it's still the same thing, G-body shit. It came with the, came with the oil bunch of gaskets 
old thing of gaskets and stuff. Oh, o rings, gasket, whatever. Uh, this is my old blower motor. It worked, but it started making noise, so I grabbed me a new one. Condenser. While I had my radiator out, guess what? Might as well change that condenser while you in there. So this is my old one here. Uh, I'm not sure if it was anything wrong with it or not, but I took it out. Like I said, might as well go ahead with something new. That's how I feel anyway, you know. Um, shout out to Penny LS1 on that too. Uh, they was out of stock for a while. And he hit, he hit up, I ain't gonna say he hit me up personally, but he posted on his, I don't know if it was his Instagram or his YouTube that they were back in stock. Guess what? I went and, and, and caught my condenser. Um, so I got the cutlass condenser. So the, the outlets are on the uh, on the driver's side on the uh, Monte Carlo. But on the but on the cutlass, the outlets are on the passenger side. And so it makes for a cleaner look like my, my compressor is right there on the passenger side. All my other AC stuff is on the passenger side. So why wouldn't I want to have this on my passenger side instead of having uh, hoses running all across there? It just made the engine bay look cleaner. So before, like I said, with this one, your, uh, your outlets were on this side. Which like I said, that made all your AC hoses run here and then all the way down this side to here. You just make it cleaner. I still gotta install my AC hoses. My AC lines, uh, they were installed before. I went on ahead and took them off, so I gotta take them to whoever can make these lines for me. Hey, ain't, ain't like, ain't on, on Penny LS1 level yet, man. That boy made his own lines. He bought the kit and everything. But, um, I'm going to just take it and I'm going to pay somebody because I don't really, I mean, I don't think it's a use in me buying the kit because I don't really plan on doing this again, but who knows? I still got two cars to build, so, but, uh, but yeah, this is the condenser from Rock Auto and it's the cutlass condenser. It puts your outlets, your ports on the passenger side. Like I said, it makes for a cleaner engine bay. Um, I'll put the... I'll put that part number in the description as well. Oh yeah, and then I got the new blower motor. This is the new blower motor. Got it installed and it's working. I still gotta hook my ground, my grounding straps and stuff back up. But uh, yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? I still got a little tinkering to do. Well, I ain't gonna say I, but shed built motors, they got a little tinkering to do with my uh, with my engine um it's running but it gotta be dialed in a little bit uh make a few minor adjustments um and then we'll we'll be rocking and rolling you know what i'm saying um oh yeah also it's always some man like i was about ready to start driving my jump and then look at this shifter cable motherfucker broke this piece right here is supposed to be stuck down in here about to right here where you see this little indention at. It's supposed to be in there, popped out. So shift the cable broke, can't do shit until I put a new shifter cable in there. Um, I don't know if this was a good quality shifter cable or not. I got it from uh, Dixie Restoration Depot, but it was only like $25. It lasted about 25 days. <laughs> but anyway, man, you know, you win some, you lose some. And you definitely live and you learn. Like, buy, I'd rather have quality over quantity, man. Quality over quantity. And I'm definitely learning my lesson with this. Like I said, everybody say, Oh, I thought you was doing a budget bill. Thought you was doing a budget bill. You done spent a lot of money in this and that. But 
I mean, a budget bill, like, you still spending a lot of money, man. You still spending a lot of money. And like I said before, why, um, why I save my money is with uh, labor. Like, I save most of my money with labor. Labor costs. Because I do a lot of stuff myself. Not everything, but I do a lot myself. Man, look at that emblem, man. That's crazy. Definitely gotta get this, get this pick right here. But yeah, so you know, people might say a budget bill, man. But <laughs> first, of, first of all, everybody's budget ain't the same. My budget ain't your budget. Your budget ain't my budget. You know what I'm saying? Some somebody might have a budget of three, four, five thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Then other people got a budget of ten, fifteen thousand. You know. 20, 30, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it, to each his own, you know, like everybody do what they can do. And don't try to keep up with everybody else, man. Like, I mean, I say that, I, I, I feel like I'm giving advice, but you know what I'm saying? Like some people just like that. Like they try to keep up with everybody else, but I ain't like that, man. I stay in my own lane. I do what I can do when I can do it. And I do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? People ask me, oh, why you ain't changed the color of the car? Why you ain't, you know, painted like a custom color or something? Because I ain't want to. My car was black with red stripes. I like the OG look with a twist to it. Guess what? I got a twist. I'm going to throw my wheels on there. I got the all black interior. You know what I'm saying? I got a little twist to it. But it's my twist. That's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Oh yeah, let me let me crank this thing up for y'all, man. Let y'all see how it sound. See how this thing sound. It's all dirty in here. Now, y'all, we got oil pressure now. 
We are getting there. We getting there. Anyway, man, I just wanted to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all know what I had going on, man. We stay in the lab. Stay in the lab. If you got an old school, you already know you're going to be in the lab at all times. Unless you just got that bag like that. But I ain't got that bag, so I'm in the lab. I'm in the lab with it. Um, oh, yeah, last video, I think it was the last one, we did the trunk. So, you know, just to catch up, got the kill mat dead in the trunk. Kill mat dead in the trunk. And I got my other box here. Got another box of kill mat. Um, so that I can finish these other portions here that wasn't done. Uh, I'm trying to cover all of that. I want it. I want it right. You know what I'm saying? So got my other box here. Oh, really, definitely ain't gonna do this on camera. Y'all seen enough. But uh, like I said. Go brand new box here. Um, oh yeah, another thing, man, with this tag. That's what I meant to talk about earlier. So everybody with this tag, y'all know how y'all know how it is. You got a new paint job or old paint job that's that's decent. This tag, you can hear that. It's scraping against the the um the bumper here. So my first uh, idea was to, I was just gonna dynamat or kill mat the, the back of this tag, you know, so it won't, um, you know, so it won't rattle whenever I get my, my base in there or whatever. Um, but I ended up finding something on Amazon, man. There's these like rubber license plate things. And it come in two, it's two to a set. So like your tag just slides in there in that little slot. And then it's supposed to prevent like, you know, vibrations and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on the tag, but probably, I'll probably still, I might still put a little piece of dynamat, uh, X mat or whatever. Whatever, What's it, what I got? Kill mat. Put a little piece of kill mat on this still, just for extra protection. All right, so I got this tag out of here. Um, and this is my, like I said, the little rubber piece or whatever. And this is what I was talking about. Like, you know, when you open your, when you're trying to get your gas and stuff, you're pulling this in and out. So yeah, that metal tag is just scraping up against here. Just scraping that all up. I, like I said, mine ain't too bad because you know the paint is fairly new. But um, you know, I don't want no no tag rattle and all that stuff. So we're gonna put that tag in here. And that way now when you open this, it's just gonna that rubber, I'd rather that rubber to be rubbing up against it than that metal. So we'll see how this go. Just slip the uh, slip the tag in the end. Slip the tag in there. Line up the holes. And put that thing back in there. Which actually. if it'll have any really rattle. I put a piece of dynamite back there. I don't think I really need it on both sides. But yeah, I think that's gonna help. Let me put one of these screws back in here. Definitely think this is gonna help. If it don't, oh well. I'll take it off. I'll try something different. I think 
it might work though. This side tried to break on me, this little white piece that go in there. So we'll see if that hold up. If not, then I'll just buy some new uh, license plate, license plate screws. It might do all right for me. Now that I'm doing this, I'm realizing that this may not be the best thing for me because I'm trying to get gas, right? And I pull this down. It don't want to go. It's only opening up this much. It, the, the tag won't lay flat for me. It won't even come all the way down. So... I don't really know how I feel about that, but there's no rattle. There is no rattle. But like I said, I can't get my, I can't get this to come all the way down, which I don't know if that's going to be an issue for me or what. Um, I mean, it's enough room to get the gas, the gas uh, handle in here, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Without it, you can pull this all the way down. So, I don't know. Tell me what y'all think, man. Just trying some, trying shit, trying shit. Some shit don't work, some shit do work. But we gonna keep on grinding though. Whether we like it or we want it or not, we'll just switch it up. And I can always send that shit back to Amazon if I decide not to use it. So I'm back already, y'all. That shit, this damn rubber shit, it ain't gonna work for me. I already made my decision. I'm sending it back to Amazon. So I'll just deal with, I'll just deal with this tag, just scratching the bottom of that. See, now I can let my tag all the way down. It's a lot better. Close shop for the day. Yes, sir. So wifey leaving again. Let me let me, let me see if she gonna do something. Okay. She be hitting it now. She be hitting it sometimes. Let's see if she she give me a little something at the start sign. Let's see if she give me a little something. Give me a little something, a little something, something. But yeah, so, hey man, that's it for the day, fellas. And fellets. Fellas and fellets. I just came up with that shit. <laughs> anyway, man, we are done. We done for the day, man. 87SS boy, checking out. Catch y'all on the next one.